Hello, everybody. Howdy, how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing well. I have had an insane fucking day, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, actually, you know what, let's talk about it. Alright, let's talk about it. Since this, is, since this is my channel, and I do whatever I want with it. Uh, so today, I was at work, right? Okay. Normal day at work. Normal day at work completely. Then all of a sudden, I'm standing there, and the power goes out. And I'm just like, well, shit. Because you know what that means? That means all the systems got to reboot and everything. That means I won't be able to do my job for a minute. All right, fine. Whatever. Fine. Fine. The power comes back on. And everything's just a little weird. Like, the back room seems mostly fine. But, like, some of the machines that we use to, like, pack boxes and stuff were, like, buzzing. And that's never a good sign if something's buzzing, you know? And so, like, we're just kind of sitting there trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Maybe we should, like, unplug the machines. You know, that's what we do. Uh, and then we're told to evacuate the building. So, yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Uh, I don't really remember what happened, but um, the power was out for a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't remember exactly what happened. I don't remember what it was. But it's it, it was fixed, and not, it was nothing serious. So, yeah, that happened. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how much I'm comfortable talking about it because they did tell us like, hey, you know, don't post about it on social media while, while it's going on. But I mean, now it's over and uh, I don't think I've said anything demonstrably false about it. So, I mean, because the power did go out and the power was out and we were evacuated and uh, then the power did come back on. So honestly, I, I think I'm fine. And even then, I don't know if my employers even know about this channel. You know what would be funny? If the next day they, like, come to me and they're like, Malphus, we know you're, we know you talked about on your Twitch channel. And you know what that means? Because, like, one, they watch my Twitch channel. Two, they know who the fuck I am. And three, I don't know how they would have figured that out. So, they must be, like, stalking me or some shit. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, they're going to call me to the office and they're going to be like, Alphys, we know you talked about it yesterday on your Twitch stream. I'm going to be like, hold up, what? How do you know I stream? How do you know I stream on Twitch? How do you know I do that shit? How, who told... Who the fuck told you, you son of a bitch? <laughs> like that. Oh my god, that would be horrible. But at the same time, I, I literally was like as vague as possible. I was literally like as vague as possible. Because it's literally just like, I literally said anything that like anybody could have like found out about. Like I didn't... I didn't say anything that was false, so I mean, and even then, no one knows where the fuck I work anyway. I could be working anywhere, and if they like come to talk to me, it's gonna be like, I'm gonna, if they if they pull me to the office tomorrow, like Malphus, we know what you did on your stream. I'm gonna be like, who the fuck is Malphus? <laughs> who the fuck is that? I don't know who that is. What are you talking about? Who is that? What is this name that you speak of? Isn't that the name of a demon? Wait, what are you? Are, are you accusing me of being a demon? Like what? What are you talking about? <laughs> Alright, so, we're gonna be playing some more Kitty Horror Show stuff tonight. Um, th I'm playing their second collection, Haunted Cities 2. So, there's four games in it. I don't know if we'll get to all four of them. It depends on how long they are. Um, and the first one, what is the first one, actually? Let me pull it up real quick. Um, Gloom Puke. Gloom Puke. Three floating islands filled with magic and teeth and friendship. Why does it say and teeth? What does that even mean? Okay, guys, before we get started, I'm going to go run to the kitchen real quick because I got tea in there. I left my tea in there. I need to go get it real quick. So let me be right back. Uh, I'm back. I'm back. I got my tea. I got my menthol tea. Because my th my throat's been a little scratchy the past couple days. I think it's mostly allergies. What is going on with my model? What the fuck is happening? Why are you bugging out? Oh my god, it's really bugging. It's bugging out. Hold up, let me recalibrate. 
Why is it bugging out? It's bugging. It's bugging out. Okay, hold up. Yeah, hold up. Let me reset everything. There we go. Maybe. Nah, I mean, that's better. That's better, yeah. I don't know why it was bugging out so bad. I don't know why it was bugging out. <laughs> All right. So yeah, there we go. It's it's fixed now. Maybe it's because I'm not wearing the headphones, and the headphones were like what was helping me. I I don't. All right, so it's been ten minutes. Let's go in like start. Um, but first we do have a new follower, a uh, forgotten waifu. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate. It. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and let's start with gloom puke. Gloom puke. Gloom puke. Why? Okay, now my mouth's being fucking weird. Why does it look like that? Let me recalibrate again. Hold up. Model's being all kinds of buggy tonight. That's better. That's much better. Okay. It's still a little... I mean, it's still a little fucky, but it's alright. Let me boot up Gloom Puke here real quick. Why is it called Gloom Puke, of all things, though? Okay, let's go to the game capture. Gloom Puke. Gloom Puke. Gloom puke. Oh my god, that's loud. Oh, it's not loud on your, your guys' end, though. It's loud on my end. How loud is it? Uh, let's turn up a little more. Okay. Oh, this is nice. I like this. Gre Gregory. Gregory. <laughs> Oh there, Traveler. Welcome to the Island of Blood Monster Ghosts. Not the official name, of course. I made it up. Catchy, huh? What can I do you for? Uh, I don't know. What is this place? Well, I just told- Bitch! Yeah, but what is it? What's going on around here? Not a lot, truth be told. Some of the others are investigating that pyramid over there. Margaret and her courtiers are hanging out in her swamp castle. That temple near you is certainly a building. Temple? That's right. It's an alright temple, I suppose. Of course, nobody here is anybody, anybody ideal. So Vivian hangs out there and tells nice stories. Ask her ask her to tell you one. You, you'll love it. Okay. Understand? Love it. Anything else? Um, who are you? My name is Gregory. It's nice to meet you. I stand here and I do that because I'm incapable of moving, not because there are lots of travelers. You're the only one, actually. That's a shame. It certainly is. Both of those things I said. Is there anything else you'd like to know? What's going on around? Not a lot, truth be told. And yeah, okay, yeah, pyramid, and then there's a swamp castle. I'm gonna ask him about the pyramid. I'm gonna ask Gregory about the pyramid. I love Gregory. Oh, shit, I clicked out the window. <laughs> A pyramid? Yes, nobody's really sure why it's there. Not that it matters much, it's just a pyramid. Pyramids are never important or interesting. Gregory? What the fuck? Literally never. Bro, but you're free to hang out there and wallow around in sand, I guess? Anything else? Bro, I'm a history major. How can you just sit there? How can you just sit there and say, pyramids are never anything interesting, bro? What the fuck? Alright, Swamp Castle? Good old Castle Gloom Puke. They say each of her stones is haunted by a separate ghost, which is obviously bullshit. <laughs> but the cool kind of bullshit, you know? Fun to think about, I guess. They make good food there, anyway. <laughs> nope, I think that's it, Gregory. I think I think you about covered everything. Fare thee well. Thank you, Gregory. I love you. Okay. Um. This is... I really like this. I really like this, actually. Like... I really like this fucking, like, I really like this fucking atmosphere, by the way. I love it. I think it's great. Who's this? Roderick. Oh, hi. Hello. My name is Roderick. I'm the Swamp Monster. Hello, Swamp Monster. It's super nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Ah, uh, being a Swamp Monster is great. I make so many friends. Need anything else? Um, what do you do up here? I'm the Swamp Monster. I guard the castle from trespassers. You're not one of those, right? Of course not. No way. 
That's great. Hey, you should go to the castle and meet my friends. They're, they're nice like you. They'll like you. All right, then. Sounds good. I'm definitely not a trespasser, bro. See, as long as you tell me to go in the castle, it's not trespassing. It's a swamp. Swamps are the best. I get I get to be a monster in them. Plus, there's a castle, so, so I get to guard it. By be, but it's a sweet deal. I can't read the text. It's going too fast. Nope, that'll be all. I'm, I'll go into the castle. Bye-bye. I'll go into the castle, man. I'll see what it's like. Mmm, okay. I like that. Oh my god, look at this grooving man. Look at this dude. Oh, it's Margaret. Look at, look, look at, look at Margaret go. Look at this. Look at this fucking throne. <laughs> Can you believe this bullshit? Who the fuck sits in a throne this big? Who the fuck makes a throne this size? <laughs> oh god, I'm so mad. Margaret is such a fucking mood. I love I love Margaret already. Uh Yeah, it's a pretty large chair for sure. Right? How can I be a queen of anything like this? My foes will be all like, check out Margaret, the comparatively tiny in her stupid fucking chair for giants. She's just snarling and snapping and squealing now. What is this? This is amazing. I love this. You gonna be okay? I don't know. <laughs> She's just like me. I'm the queen of the swamp and I can't sit in my huge fucking throne. I don't even know how to get a refund. <laughs> I can't send it back. Mail doesn't exist here. How did you fucking get it in the first place? This is... I love this. Alright, bye. But she waits below. No, I don't mean to talk to you again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, man. This is great. <laughs> Margaret. I just want to say, Margaret. You are such a fucking mood. I love you. I love you so much, Margaret. You are just like me. And I think that's great. I love you, Margaret. Alright, let's go ahead and let... Let's get out here. Is there anything around here? Like, is there like a... No? Okay. <laughs> that's so... I love that. That's great. Is this a horror game? Is this going to turn into a horror game at some point? Because I love this. Ooh, what's this? Wait, how do you say your name? Guinevere. Hmm, who are you? Are you a ghost? What do you want? Oh, well, never mind. Welcome to Castle Gloom Puke. I can't exactly stop you from wandering around. But please be polite. Queen Margaret is very anxious today. I can tell. Oh, I know who this is. Well, who are you? Guinevere, I'm Queen Margaret's steward. Okay. I'm very pleased to meet you. We don't often have visitors. Please let me know if I can be of assistance. All right. Thank you. Um. Who is Margaret? Queen of Gloom Puke Swamp. Not that there's much to be queen of. None of us really know anything about this place. Hey, she is a queen. She's the queen of queens. We have somebody Peter somehow. We, so, but Margaret said she always wanted to be a queen and she's cute, so we let her. Oh, that's adorable. We figure it can't hurt anything. Fair, fair enough. That's so cute, though. I love this. What do I look like? You look like a. You look. You look a bit like several wisps ran to a cage with a sphere of water floating at center. Fair enough. We don't entirely know. Sorry, this castle. It was simply here when we showed up. Okay. It's spacious and nobody was using it. There are some inscrutable books in the library you can read if you like. Not much more to say than that, really. Castles are just cool. Damn straight. Honestly based. I love it. Did I ask all the questions? I did. This is great. I love this game. Ooh, okay, it's a potion making room. This is great. I love this game already. Mildred. 
Hello, love. Can I have your fortune told? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Damn, okay. Whoa, damn, okay. You, you, you good? Like, you alright? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Am I good? A huge spider with a woman's face and knives for teeth just totally came out of no- Huh? What a mess. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Yeah, I don't worry too much about it, though. There's like a 40% chance she's a metaphor for, I don't know, a bad day at work or something. <laughs> It'll probably be fine, okay? I have a nice one. Oh my god. Thank you, Mildred. This is fantastic. I love this game. This game is amazing. This game's so- this game's so fucking funny, I love it. Uther. Uther snorts welcomingly. Uther snorts knowledge knowledgeably, gesturing- Uther snorts inquiringly. So he's just in there. What do you do here? Snorts proudly. Snorts libra- what? Snorts archaeologically. How do you- how do you snort archaeologically? That's cool, bro. That's cool, man. I love- I, I love all of these characters. Snorts uncertainly. Mysteriously. How do you- Swampacious- Swampaciously? What's swampacious? Hey, hey, hold up. Hold up, this is important. This is important. Hold up, I gotta Google this. What does that mean? Swampacious. Is, is this a real word? No, it's not. Okay. Fuck. What do I look like? Mercurially? Emerodarily? Averistically? And, huh? Alright. Thank you, Uther. You're awesome. I love you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Uther. Can I read this? Great Swamps of the Realm. Yeah, I'll read it. You open the page about Gloom Puke Swamp. Having garnered a reputation for excessive putridity, and being widely accepted as the shittiest swamp in all the land, the long-suffering swampians of the realm united their magics and performed a spell to fling Gloom Puke into space, and hope that it would crash into the sun and burn away. That is such a fucking mood. What is this? What is this, bro? This is great. On foxes and hounds. I'll read it. Let me take a sip of my tea first. <clears throat> Innumerable canyon dr crayon drawings and ink sigils make this book impossible to read except for a page at the front. Across with Mildred Rocks is written in large shimmering letters. Mil oh my god, Mildred. You're great. The Noble Species. Yeah, I'll read that. Opens naturally to a page that looks handwritten. Of those creatures who dwell within the realm, it is unanimously accepted by all of sound mind that the alligators are the smartest, coolest, noblest, hottest, most charming, most prestigious, funniest, best at sports, most lovable, most mysterious, kindest, best looking, and generally most well equipped to rule of all. Also the best kissers and they have the nicest handwriting. I can tell who wrote that one. Honestly, bro, <laughs> the queen here, she's great. I love her. This was great. I'm going to go explore the rest of this game. Okay, I mean, it's dark and rainy now, but it's still kind of pleasant. I say, is Roger going to say anything new? I, I, it kind of like, it kind of like startled me for a moment because I'm like, wait, hold up. Is, is this going to be like the one scene from like the last time I played a Haunted City, the Haunted Cities collection, the first one, where like I step outside and like it's going to be dark as hell? But no, it, it, it's just, no, it, it's, it's just rainy. It's just a little rainy. Just a little rainy is all. Still pleasant. 
still very pleasant. Ooh, who's this? Torvald. Poof. Poof. <laughs> oh my god. That's a good story. Who's a good boy? Oh. <laughs> Um, I love this game so much. This is like a 10 out of 10. This is, this is the perfect game. I'm going to recommend this to fucking everybody. I'm going to recommend this to fucking everybody. That's a good story. It's like, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I love I love it so much. Poof. Poof. <laughs> poof poof. Poof. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I love it so much. Alright, let's go to the pyramid now. Let's see what's going on in the pyramid. What characters am I going to come across the pyramid? Is there anything behind the pyramid? Nope. Okay. Just an obelisk. Hmm. Into the pyramid we go. Ooh. What? This game is so great. Honestly, I lo I'm loving every single minute of this. I was expecting a horror game, though. I have a weird feeling this is going to turn fucked up at some point. Catherine. Oh, this is so fascinating. My goodness, yes. Unbelievable. Those angles, those markings, so exquisite. You there, take a look at this sigil. What do you see when you look at it? How do you interpret it? Um... You haven't shown me anything removed at all. Uh, a hieroglyphic poem composed of cyclical couplets. You know, you could just be right. If so, what elegant art form, pictorial po- Oh, damn it. Such beauty. What magnificent flowing linguistic grace. It makes me want to shriek into my hands with joy. So then, how may I help you, strange specter? What's with the pyramid? Haven't the foggiest, but I, but I adore it. Just sort of appeared one day, all full of cool, mysterious bullshit. I love studying things. Oh my god, Catherine. Her eyes go very wide and she begins breathing heavily. Okay, calm down. Studying things makes you feel really good. I fucking love knowledge. This is, this is the greatest game. This is the greatest game I've ever played on my channel. This is the greatest game I've ever played in my life. This is amazing. Oh my god, I have so many people I want to recommend this to. What do you do here? I'm I'm the foremost linguist and archaeologist on all floating islands. I set up this expedition. I'm focusing my studies on all those bright glowing hieroglyphs that are floating around. Right on. Right on. I don't see any hieroglyphs, but it's alright. Oh, guys, let me mute for a sec. I gotta blow my fucking nose. Alright, there we go. Oh, that was... That, that was fucking gross. Alright. Um... Do you know much about these islands? You mean the three islands we're on? Not really, I'm afraid. I have a theory that each island is from a totally different place. That they each belong to different distant worlds and were then separated from them somehow. Made to come together. Excuse me, by some means. What do you think? Sound plausible? Absolute boulder dash. As much as anything else, I guess. Really? Wow, thanks. Nobody's ever thought so before. Anything else? No, I think that's it. Enjoy the mysterious pyramid. I just want to go along with their delusions. They're so cute. 
Oh, there's a person all the way up there. Teresa. Hmm? Oh, hello there. And what are you supposed to be? Some sort of fetch? What does that even mean? Some manner of rusty nail elemental? Well, try not to touch anything with those smoldering hooves of your- Bruh! Everything around here is very mysterious and valuable. Did you have a question? I do. Who are you? Teresa, I'm an archaeologist. I specialize in pyramids, tombs, mysteries, ghost worlds, sunken cities, doom mazes, and skele skeletropoli. As you see, I am very accomplished and respected scholar. You can tell because of all of those true things I just said. Is there something else? That what? What's your source? Teresa did like my sources. I made it the fuck up. <laughs> oh, M mushy ram! Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I am overseeing this archaeological expedition. Catherine organized it, but she's very invested in her studies. Someone needs to stand here looking imperious and delegatory. I have many certificates in imperious delegatorialism. That makes me the senior de 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 What? So the extremely difficult and important job falls to me. Is there something else? Um, what's the story with this pyramid? Now see me in the million right- What? Like most pyramids, it's full of mysteries and artifacts. That much is to be expected. What we don't know is where the pyramid came from, or indeed why it came here at all. But then we don't know about most things here, or even ourselves, really. She stares off in the middle distance of a very long time. I believe I've depressed myself. Oof, that's a mood. <laughs> that's a big mood right there. Alright. Let's go ahead and let's... There's a person up here, too. Let's go talk to this person. I love every single person so far. I'm waiting for this game to turn into a horror game, though. Like, I'm waiting for shit to get fucked up. Because it's a kitty horror show game. Ooh, you look nice. Sextus. Look upon my urns. So fine, so rare, so delicate. Think what they might have once held. Water, wine, or sand. That's probably it, really. I love ur I love urns! <laughs> I'm glad for you, bro. He's not listening to you anymore. He's too busy attempting to fit his head inside one of his urns. He's doing a lot of whimpering. That's that's cool, man. I'm glad you like urns so much. Oh my god, this, this is great. What's over here? Is there anything over here? No. Can just fall off here? Am I gonna die? Nope. Okay. Is there anything, like, over here? Um. I don't see anything, so I think I'm ready to go into the temple. Is that where shit's gonna get fucked? Oh, this is nice. Oh. Where the... Where did this person come from? Ezekiel. Hail, Traveler. I'm the goat of woe, the woe goat. I am woe. I'm the woe goat. Woe, oh woe. Woe to me, the goat, who must dwell within the scorched waste, draped in cloth of ragged canvas, burning, aching, scoured by sand. I'm the goat of woe. Ah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry? I, I, I'm sorry? Then it's fate that we should meet here this day. You, the ghost of sorrow. And I, the goat of woe. Woe to you, Sorrow, and woe to me, the goat. Why come ye to this cruel and loveless place, Sorrow? I was birthed by malice and spat here by a cringing void. I gathered hate in my mouth and screamed myself awake. I was fed on black blood and red soil and grew bitter. I caught storms in my hair and wrung their lightning into needles. Like a ghost, I haunt, carried by the abyss from house to mournful house. I crawl like a spider and coat worlds and webs to keep them still. I drift like a wisp, seeking worlds with unblemished skin to pierce. Let's go with the spider one. This world is small, and I will tear it apart. This world is bleak, and I will fill its sky with fire. This world is a curiosity, and I've come to paint its walls black. I'll do that one. Wow. 
dial it back a notch or two, damn. <laughs> Oof. I'm sorry, Ezekiel. I, I, I don't know what came over me there. Is this the swamp? Yeah, it's the swamp. I've been here already. Okay. I've already been here. That's great. I want to go back to this guy. I want to go back to this guy. I want to go back to, I want to, go back to this guy. <laughs> yeah, you! Torvald. <laughs> I love this so much. One more time. I gotta do the boofing so much. <laughs> Who's a good boy? I am! <laughs> He, this brings me so much joy. I'm actually kind of worried. This is going to get a little fucked up, probably. Like, something's going to happen. So, here's this temple that I need to go in. What's over here? Anything? No. Okay. So, let's go in the temple. Hmm. Okay. There's a lot bigger than it looks on the outside. Bethany and Ursula. Hello, friendly spirit. Hello, kindly wraith. So I'm a, I'm a ghost, alright. We are Bethany and Ursula. Ursula and Bethany. We are the keepers of the temple crystals. You have questions for us? I have several, actually. What do you know about the islands? A desert full of bones and shrapnel. A swamp full of teeth and ambition. A temple full of lights and whispers. A playground full of ghosts. A menagerie of dreamers. A burnt page adrift upon a secret lake. A ring that misses the chain. Terrible public transportation services. <laughs> Not a single bathroom. Not one. That's weird. You have questions? Yeah, that's, that, that's pretty weird, actually. I mean, but then again, we're ghosts. Do we even have to take a piss? What's up with the crystals? They hold up the sky. They fill up the sea. They teach the worms to see. They teach the leaves to dance. They give the stars their colors. They give the nights its breath. They're pretty okay. Just okay? Not great or anything? <laughs> that's it. What can you tell me about this temple? It's a place for healing. A place for stories. A place for jewels. A place for stars. A place for smoke. A place for candles. We like it here. I like it here too, honestly. This is pretty good. Um, who's who? I am Bethany and she's Ursula. You have... Hmm, okay. Cool. Alright. It is weird there isn't a bathroom in here. So the crystals are up there. Okay. Let's go into this room... Into this room next with the blue... With the blue looking thing. Oh, it's a fountain! Okay. Okay. Hmm. This is really nice. <clears throat> Vivian. Oh, hello there, kind spirit. I have never seen you before. You must be new. Welcome. My name is Vivian. I am the temple keeper. I am pleased to meet you. What may I do for you? Tell me a story. I'd be delighted to. Once upon a time, there was a giant grub worm made entirely out of blood. The worm had no friends because every time it was invited to hang out, it got blood all over everyone's things. One day, the grub worm went to see an old blood wizard. Help me, blood wizard, the grub worm said. Nobody likes me. It's because of the blood, isn't it? Asked the blood wizard. Absolutely. Wow, it's like you knew, said the grub worm. And so the blood wizard cast a mighty spell. That turned all the other creatures in the land into blood as well. Pretty soon the whole blood thing didn't matter. Blood everywhere. The grub worm quickly made many friends. Everyone everything was blood. It really brought everyone together. 
I think I'm going to be sick. No, it just goes to show you. It sure does. It sure does. One inspiring tale. What's up with this temple? It's quite lovely, isn't it? We're all very glad to have found it. The water in the fountain glows so beautifully. And those great big jewels are nice, too. Most jewels are, I find. A very good environment for storytelling, all in all. That's what temples are for, after all. Uh, I guess so. Oh my god. Um, what do I look like? Let's ask her that. Let me take a sip of my tea. Well, you're very much like a shawl made of spider silk. Draped across the head and shoulders of an invisible woman made of twigs. Very fetching, I must say. Oh, thank you. I don't know how I feel about that description, but I appreciate it. Anything else, dear? Nothing but thank you. Be well, spirit. This is such a nice game. I love it. It's so cute. It's so great. It's just a nice little experience, you know? It's just a nice little experience. Alright, is it going to be fucked up outside now? Nope, it's the same as it was before. Now, before we switch games here, I want to check something out real quick. Because there was someone, in, there's, a, there's another person in the pyramid, one of the archaeologists. And I want to try one more thing too. But first I want to see what this archaeologist says, because... There's some things, because there's some things you can say, like, what do you mean there's no, like, floating hieroglyphs here? I want to see what she says to that. <laughs> oh, it's you! Hello again! Come to learn more about ancient language of the pyramid? Yes. Absolutely! Superb! Look, here's another I've been studying. What do you see when you look at it? How do you interpret it? Um, a runic eye glowing furiously amidst a tempest of feathers. You think so? I can see that. An omen, perhaps. Some prediction or portent. A culture of oracles who ply their craft with language. How cool is that? Fuck! So then how may I help you, strange specter? What's up with the pyramid? Um, I think she says something about the hieroglyphs. Gosh, she begins breathing heavily. Oh man. So many things makes me feel really good. <laughs> I fucking love knowledge. May was the other thing that made her say it. Hold up. Yeah, I think it was what do you do here? Let me see. <clears throat> yeah, okay. I don't see any glowing heart. Don't you? How curious. They're impossible to miss. They're everywhere. One of them appears to be licking your hair at this very moment. What the fuck? Perhaps your eyes simply haven't adjusted yet. Need anything else? Alright, so there's one more thing I want to try. I want to try jumping off the island. I want to see what happens. I want to see what happens if we jump off the island. I just want to see what happens. This is a fun little game. I like this. This is just a cute little game. Like, it takes like 20 minutes to get through. It's so nice. Ah, it's raining now. Alright, let's jump off. Oh, okay, we just, we just restart. We just restart back where we started. Okay. So that's it, huh? That's it. That's, that is so cute. I love it. I, I loved it. I loved it. It was great. It was amazing. I loved it. All right, let's go ahead and let's turn that off. Let's go ahead and let's switch games. So that was Gloom Puke. Uh, I forgot to write the title. Fuck. I forgot to write the title of the game. Oh, well, it's all right. It's okay. Um. Okay, so what's next in the readme file? Monastery, a place of worship. Content warning. Oh, this one's got a content warning, so this one might actually be a horror game. Body horror. Insects. Blood slash gore. I don't know if I like that one, Chief. But I'm in it for the long haul, so let's do it. I am in it for the long haul, so let's suffer through this together. 
that was so cute though gloom puke was so cute i i honestly want to play it again i want i want to play it more just to kind of like whoa wait no not gloom puke gloom puke's not playing right now monster is playing right now i probably gotta do it yeah here we go see i already hate this all right it's silent as fuck is it gonna appear Oh, okay. Wait, why is it not appearing? Why is it not appear? What the fuck? There we go. Okay. Um. Yeah, no, this is silent. I hate this. I already hate this. I hate everything about this already. I really fucking hate this already. Um. Why is it like this, bro? Um, a massive grub rides atop a cutting board. Its, glass, its glassy eyes considers you pleadingly. It seems incapable of moving away. Um, ten boo, boo what, what is boo? What does that mean? Melworms, leeches, fresh maggots... Silkworm larva, night crawlers, black soil. Okay. This is odd. It's not exactly like horrifying yet, but it's just really weird. What is, what was this? Scriptorium. Page copy from some holy text that describes parasites burrowing into the organs of soft animal of soft mammals and the glorious jub jubilation of their feeding. Amazing. Great. Page copy from some holy text that describes cicadas hooking their claws into the bark of trees and ripping themselves out of old carapaces. The description of Malefluous borderline pornograph borderline pornographic. Interesting. Some holy text. It describes a hive queen swelling to an impossible size, whole mountains hollowed by drones and filled with larvae. Okay. A heavy tome is marked in several places. You open to the first marking. The passage reads, On her wings rode fury and venom and violent irreparable change. The sky shivered with her birth, and the horizon was pregnant with the mounds of her children. Can I go to another one? Yeah, I can. Her children were not of weak flesh, nor dull hand, nor small, gasping mouth. Her children had skin of armor, and lances filled with venom, and... Oh, God, excuse me. And cleaving jaws, and their minds were a chorus, jubilant... And unified, and she loved them, and they were all that she loved. I'm getting the hiccups now. All right, third marking. Most of her children came with her from the wound in the sky, but they were some among the fleshy ranks of men that she saw as worthy and raised up, and they drank up full of her bile, and their bodies were changed to better serve her seething anger. And when she had combed the herds of her new disciples, and her ranks had swelled to her liking, wings opened across the earth, and the sky drew back in horror as her children filled it, and the morning saw a world that had been matted down to the soil by blood. I hate that noise. Final marking. A thin iron key has been wedged between the pages here. Its label reads, Library. You pocket the key and set down the heavy volume. Okay. Is there any other scripts in here? Here's one. Erratic scrawling, the words skin and shred and drink and writhe are repeated many times. Hmm. So this is a place of worship for some kind of 
insect goddess? I I guess. I don't know. Garden. What kind of garden are we talking? A statue of hate, mother of the hive, goddess of fury, plague, wings, death, and stinging insects. Her wings appear to be crafted from shards of some fine red crystal or glass. I see. So this is the main courtyard area. Is there anything out here that I need to know about? Interesting. There's an interesting theme going on here, though. I like these games are more like storytelling, I think. Uh, Alright, finish that tea off. Like, honestly, I feel like this game is telling a story more than it is, like, being, like, a game that you can, like, sit down and play and enjoy. You know what I mean? You just, like, explore the monastery, pretty much. Okay, I guess that's everything. And that just leads back out to the garden. Okay. In that case, let's go right and let's go down that, that passage to the right. I fucking hate how silent it is, though. Like, I hate that. Except for the torches. Alright. The dormitory. Yep. This is definitely where people sleep. Oh, there's a note right here. We put down Brother Lumbrick. Who the fuck names their kid Lumbricus? What does that even mean? His change came, but was inadequate. He was given no weapons with which to carry out her will. His soul must have been weak, and yet he always seemed so devout. I begin to fear for my own change, to think that I too might become something weak, something crawling and helpless. I can only pray she will deem me worthy. I have worked so very hard. So, we're worshipping some kind of insect goddess. Like, Matakan from V Shoujo? <laughs> is that what this is about? Mother is coming coming to visit i'm so excited i haven't seen mother in a long 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 time this is literally like this is a kitty horror show foresaw the coming of matakan <laughs> materacon materacon yeah library la biblioteca yeah i got the key for it hmm it does kind of have a weird cozy feeling to it if that makes sense A manifest of books, scrolls, and texts procured within the last month. Among them is a tome apparently recovered from a ruined farmhouse, an illuminated manuscript about the hive, and a rite of invitation. Can we read any of these books here? Oh, here's a page. A table of correspondence associating various invertebrates with respect to planets, precious metals, and acidic liquids. Weird choice, but alright. A ritual invocation. His purpose seems to be changing the color of the sky to create an environment more suitable for the invitation of carnivorous deities. Ooh, I hate that. Anything else? Here's a book. The boy came to a clearing, where a great bloated tick wallowed in a shallow pond, and he found that he could not speak, for she had filled his mouth with leeches as he was running through the swamp. Okay. You will know you have come to the kingdom of Hierophant, for the roaches will have the teeth of men, and the wasps will have not stingers but tongues, and the worms will twist themselves into knots until they are torn and bleeding. Her mother, whose head was full of the tattered king's perverted songs, 
shut the girl in the attic where blood dripped from between the teeth of the mad-eyed rocking horse and the spiders laughed like murderers. You know what this is reminding me of? Do you remember back in... Back in the first, when we played the first Haunted Cities collection, do you guys remember the fucking grandmother game and how there was a book that was describing stuff like the Tattered King and stuff? Like, I'm starting to think this is connected to that somehow. Is there like a whole, like, in-game universe? The priestess sank into the mud, which whispered to her as it filled her ears, and she felt his oils and secrets slide across the wrinkled flesh of her brain. And she shivered and the knife burrowed into under her ribs. The fuck? The man walked, driven like cattle by the tower's groans, and with each step he took, a new worm penetrated the sole of his foot, until it was not but a suit of skin for their family, teeming and boiling at the holes of his eyes. I remember that passage. That was in that was in grandmother. Hold up. And then we came across that one. Alright. Interesting. Very interesting. So there's another passage over here. Yeah. Infirmary. The door is locked. Okay. Chapel. The door is locked. Okay. So we gotta find some keys. Okay. We have to find some keys. So I'm assuming there... There might be one in the infirmary. Not the infirmary. The dormitory. Because we didn't really look around there. There might also be one in the garden. I don't know. Let me take a look. Is the... Oh. No. Oh. Here we go. Nothing in there? Okay. That one opens too. Oh shit! What just happened? Okay, I just, I, I just, I, I just clicked the game window. Fuck. Yeah, I just clicked out of the game window. For some reason, VTube Studio opened up. God damn it! I clicked out of the window again. That one opens up too. But why do some of these open, but not all of them do? Okay, I read that. Hmm. Um. Is there anything in here? Yeah, that's weird that you can open the chest and close it. Let me check in the library again. Seen that, seen that, seen that, seen that. Okay. Just repeats. I want to make sure. Okay, let's check out in the garden, I guess. Let's go check out in the garden real quick. Because the infirmary and the chapel are both locked, so we can't access those at the moment. So I'm assuming we have to solve some kind of puzzle out here. There's a path over here. Brother Lumbricus. Sister Paraplana. There's no inscription. Brother Calipor. Weird. Okay. Is there anything out here? Anything at all besides the statue of the goddess? Uh, 
I mean, other than that, I don't really see anything. Do I have to... Oh, did I see this one? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let me go back. This was the entrance right here, I think. Yeah, this is where I entered. A pair of heavy wooden doors leading out of the monastery. They refuse to budge, though they don't appear to be locked. They seem to have been barred from the outside. You can hear a strong wind blowing, buffeting the wood from without. Alright. You know what's even funnier, guys, is the fucking ace, or the fucking heater just turned off in my house. Now my house is silent as hell. It's kind of freaky. Uh, have I, I've read that. So these guys are eating. Nuts. Oh, thank you for the nut sulking. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. I'm, so these guys are eating bugs. That's nice. Is there anything that I missed, like a key or anything? Ah, I guess not. Okay. Man, I, I, it feels like I'm missing some. Is there another? The scriptorium, I've been in there. I've been in there. I think I got the key from in there. So there's got to be something else then. There's got to be something else in like either the dormitory or like the library or something. Unless it's like one of those weird things where it's like you're not supposed to go in the, go in the last two rooms. I mean, honestly, I could believe it. It's me, I'm hunting you in this game, watch out. Oh no! Anything with that. Table correspondence, I've already seen that. I mean, honestly, from what I've seen, Kitty Horror Show doesn't really put creatures in the game. I guess they're, they're, they're more about like building the ambience and the atmosphere, I think. And like unraveling a story rather than being hunted down by something. But I mean, I don't know. This is only like, what, the sixth, the fifth, I think, Kitty Horror Show game. You should have been here for the last one, though, Soul King. That was funny. It was a funny game. It was fun. I loved it. Is there anything? I think I've read this note. Yeah, I've read that one. And I think... Yeah, I've read that one. Nothing in there. That's locked. The only true horror is pooping your pants in public. It's very true, honestly. I've done it before. Or at least I thought I have. It's it's not a good feeling. Why is there not... I have to? Oh, God. Very awkward feeling. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I would imagine that would be pretty awkward if you absolutely, like, had to. Where is the... It's like, what do I do now? Honestly, yeah. I mean, like, do you just, like... Do you just, like, keep going about your day like nothing happened? Do you, like, just go home real quick? Like, to change? Like, what if you're at work? What if you're at work? Is your boss gonna let you go home because you've pooped your pants? <laughs> is there just, like, nothing in here? Or am I just missing something very obvious? Maybe I'm just missing something very obvious. I guess it depends on if you're wearing underwear or not, because you can just ditch the underwear. That's true, I guess. That's true. And I've seen that. Okay. Let 
Let me go back to the passage where the infirmary and the um, chapel's at. Because I think there was another door. Yeah, right here. There's another one right here. This door is seething. You flatten your hands to the wood and feel a deep shuddering. Some cruel energy enervating the material and the palm of your hands. There is no knob or handle. At the center of the door is a metal panel with three thin slots. I hate that. I really hate that. I hate everything about that. Let me go around the edge here. Maybe there's something like around the edge. Oh no, it's weird experimentation time. It's trying to like just it's time to start just like doing random shit and seeing if it works. I mean there's graves out here. I don't know if that's anything to do with it. Yeah, I don't think there's anything over here. Just this picture of a uh, mother of the hive, I guess. Hmm. Let me go back to the like the um the dining area. Let me go back to that. Where's there some beat with these tapestries? I don't know. What is this room called? Refectory. I mean, I guess you can call it that. Is there, like, nothing over here that I haven't seen? Yeah, I've seen the massive grub. The mellworms and stuff. Yeah, I know that. Oh, there's... Why do I need why why do I need that? Why do I need the old knife? Oh, okay. You slice into the grub. A jet of warm he hemolymph bathes your wrist. The grub attempts to grasp your fingers. You continue cutting until there is only viscera. In the ruins of the grub's body is a faded metal key. Infirmary. Okay. So this is where shit's gonna start getting real, huh? Yeah, I guess this is where shit's gonna get real. Oh god, I, I don't, I don't want to go to the infirmary. I don't want to go to the infirmary, guys. What? Uh Oh, oh god, they're moving. Um What the fuck? All indoctrinations hit Herto successful. Stability of brother service questionable. No other outstanding concerns. Halfway metamorphos metamorphoses. All ideal, barring those weak souls we put down. She looks upon us with great favor. Ours will be triumph for her arrival. Yeah, if you guys didn't know because there was an ad break, um, I walked over to the infirmary and I stopped because there was a scream and the sound of bursting. So I'm kind of a... Uh, hmm. Very surgical implements are arrayed across the counter. They've been poorly maintained, and every one is completely drenched in thin, runny red fluid. Among them is a slender glass knife of exquisite make. You take the knife. Oh, no. The corner of the infirmary is filled with hanging chrysalides. 
They throb and pulse with shifting, changing, growing life, apart from one exception. They appear fragile, so near to the end of their metamorphosis. You dare not move too near. Why did I why why did I need the why did I need the knife then? Why are you giving me the knife? What do I need that for? Various medical diagrams and surgical illustrations depicting people who have undergone ph physiological metamorphosis. Hmm. Lovely. Okay. What do I need the knife for? I ask again, why do I need the knife? Hmm. Some in the dormitories? An odd compulsion stops you in your tracks. You drop to one knee and begin panting. Your vision clouds over. It feels like termites are crawling across the surface of your eyes. You go blind for but a moment. Then the sensation passes. You stand and catch your breath. Okay. What was that about? Like, why was that like that? Why did it say that? Why did it say that? That That's kind of fucked up. That's kind of fucky. I don't like it. Why do I need this knife, though? Okay, why do I need this knife? This is weird. Okay, they're still there. Alright, so nothing changed there. Honestly, kind of glad. Not gonna lie. So, what, what do I need this knife for, though? Seriously. Alright guys, let me be right back. I'm going to go get me a bottle of water real quick because I am fucking thirsty as hell. So I'll be right back. Ugh. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Whew. Okay, this game is uh, this game is wearing me out, <laughs> and nothing's even fucking happening, but it's wearing me out. Let's go back in here. In the refectory. Mm -mm. So what would I need the glass knife for, though? I'm trying to think about stuff that I've seen that I might need to use the knife on. Like, I don't want to use the, um... Wait, do I have to go to the cocoons now? I don't want to. I don't want to go to the cocoons, but do I have to now? Like I said, an odd compulsion overcame me, so I mean, like... Do I have to now? Nope, you dare not move too near. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, that that door is still freaky. Is this still locked? Yeah. Hmm. What the fuck am I supposed to do? This is weird. Okay, I feel like it has something to do with the um the dormitory because the thing happened in there. So I might need to go back to the dormitory for something. That's still locked. Oh, shit, I clicked out of the window. So locked. Clicking. Oh, I closed this. Okay. I closed that. That's why. I was like, what? That scared the fuck out of me for a sec. Not gonna lie. Hmm. Something that I can cut with a knife. Okay, is it just me, or does it look like there's something, like, behind that? Because I feel like it's further up. Like, I can't be insane, right? Like, look, see, look at this placement. And compared to... Yeah, it's... This is closer for some reason, so there's something... There's, like, a whole area that's hidden back there. Except for pull the torch doesn't do anything. Hmm. Yeah, what am I supposed to do here? This is weird. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, nothing there. Okay. Is there anything on the bookshelf? Anything on the barrels? No, I don't see anything. Okay. Hmm. This is... It feels like I'm supposed... Because it gave me the knife for a reason, right? It, it It's not just gonna... I feel like this... Kitty Horror shows one of those devs that's not just going to drop something in your inventory for no reason. Like, there has to be something here that I can use this knife on. Bro, this is so fucking weird. This is so weird, man. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> Wait, hold up. Innumerable tiny legs skittering across the opposite surface. Wings fluttering. Mandibles clicking. That's different from what it was last time. I thought I heard something. That's why I was like, uh, what the... Description, Brother Calipor. Hmm.
I do keep thinking I hear something, but I think it's just the insects. I don't know, I feel like what I'm supposed to do is pretty obvious, but I just don't see it. I just don't see it, honestly. Like, why can, why can only a few of these chests open? But not all of them. So in this game, candles are used to essentially draw your attention somewhere, right? So are there any rooms where there's candles I haven't really seen? So this is meant to draw your attention to this. I don't know, man. This is really weird. Is there anything in the infirmary I, I left? Besides these things? All the beds are over there. This torch is out. Hmm. Like, I mean, the logical step would be to literally, like, cut these things open, right? But it won't let us do that. We can't progress into the uh, monastery, or the chapel, because it's locked. And there's nothing really in the garden that I can see. I'm assuming that's just mostly for lore. So there's a candle on this here. I've already read that book. I've already read all the, of that book. I don't know, man. This is really weird. This is just super fucking weird. I, like, I'm trying to, like, find, like, an answer to it, but I just, I just don't get it. Unless, like, this is supposed to be the end right here, and you're not supposed to progress any further. You know, it, like, like, something where it's just, like, it shows you something, and then, you know, it just doesn't... And it's just meant to kind of, like, leave you, like, speculating, like, hmm, what was that, right? But, I don't know, I feel like this is meant to have some kind of solid conclusion to it. Which is why I think it's actually freaking me out, because I'm sitting here, and I'm trying to figure out the conclusion to it, right? All the while, there's, like, bugs, I guess, outside, you know, it's just like, hmm. What am I even doing here in the first place? You know what I mean? Okay, let's go back out in the garden. So we know the graveyard's off to the right there. Anything around the statue? No, I don't see anything. Okay. This is like the only thing of no out here. The 
This is so odd. Because it feels like it's right in front of my face. I just don't see it. Or seen that. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat. I'm sorry. I'm gonna cheat for a moment. I'm gonna actually like kind of like look this up just for a sec. Um, I know it sucks, but I I I I, I want to finish this honestly. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's not a that's not a walkthrough. I might not be able to find a walkthrough actually. Now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I'll probably be on my own. I can be on my fucking own. Okay. I mean that's fine. I can figure it out. I just don't know what to do. The internet really said no spoilers today. I mean, fine, I guess. Um, God, I have to go to the bathroom now, too. Like, every time I, like, sit back down and get comfy, I gotta get back up. Okay, I'm gonna go run to the bathroom real quick, and let me, like, think about it. Because usually, I found that if I usually sit on, like... If I, like, usually, like, stay in the bathroom for a sec, like, for some reason, my brain always has, like, some kind of revelation. So, I'm going to go and do that real quick. Like, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. I had no revelations of any kind, unfortunately. I don't know. I had nothing of the sort. I just kind of stood there and nothing happened. Absolutely nothing. I turned my mic back. Yep, okay. I want to make sure. I was like, I turned my mic back on, right? Does that have to do with these tapestries? Tapestries? I guess it's tapestries, isn't it? Not tapestries. I have that. I've read that. Nothing with these tapest tapestries, okay. This is still going to be locked. You know, to be fair, I just noticed there's one here that, uh, that's open. <laughs> there's one there that's open. That's great. I love that. I love that idea. I love that fact. Hmm. 
What the hell, man? It's got to be something. It's got. It's got to be something out here. It has to be something out here. Like, it has to be. That's the only thing I can think of. That's for Brother Califor. Um, there's no description. Sister Peribana. Brother Lumbricus. Wait a minute, hold up. I don't know if this is actually like relevant or not, but let me take a look at this here. Hold up. Freeze! There's four people buried out there. We know that. And here in the dormitory, I think there's like four chests you can open. There's one, there's two. Maybe not. There's three. Yes, yeah, so, well, there's three that are named, and then there's an unnamed one out there. So, I, I don't know. I thought it was on something where I was like, okay, so wait, there's four graves. And there's four chests. Do we have to open these four chests? Oh, fuck, I closed out the window again. I think that scared me more than the game did. I clicked out the window. I was like, oh. Because we can't open that chest. Meanwhile, we can open and close this one. As far as I know, there's nothing in there. Oh, wait. There's some right there. But how do I grab it? Can I can I look down? There's literally something in there. I can see it. I think I do. Am I Am I hallucinating? No, there's a key in there. How do I Fucking hell. Is it gonna be one of those things where like I click on this tiny little pixel? Bro, how are you supposed to get that? How are you supposed to grab that? How am I supposed to grab that? What if I go full screen? No. Okay. Fuck. I, I can literally see the key. It's right there. But, like, can I crouch? No. Bro, what the fuck? It's literally right there. Like, I can see the key. I can see the shape of it and everything. But I guess I just can't click on it? Bro, what the fuck? Well, I'm sitting there thinking, oh, maybe I can look down or something. No, I can't look down. I can't, I can't do any of that. Oh, shit, I turned my wings on by accident. I didn't mean to do that. I, I, I can't look, I can't look down. How, how am I supposed to get the key? It's literally right there. What's the closest I can get to it while seeing it? I guess I'm just going to kind of wiggle a little bit. Bro, the key is right there. How do you grab that? How do you grab that? <laughs> is there any other keys in here? No. What the 
fuck? Like, what am I... What am I supposed to do then? If I can't grab the key, what am I supposed to do? I can't, like, look up or down? The arrow keys just move front and back and shit. Can I just walk up to him and hit enter? No. Oh, I click I clicked out of the window because I was trying to click so low. Bruh. <laughs> what the fuck? Like this this is the thing that ends my run. It's just the fact that I can't grab a key. Is there literally like nothing I can do? Can't like press space or like E or something. What the fuck? That's so stupid. I want to beat this game. I want to complete it. Like the puzzle, the way to solve it is like right there. Like what do I do? Am I just not meant to like grab it yet? Like I, I don't know. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Like, is it supposed to be that buggy? Is it just literally, like, supposed to be that buggy? Hold up. I want to see. I want to see a walkthrough now. I want to I see a walkthrough. Everyone oh, shut up. I got a YouTube video pulled up, so I'm, like, seeing, like, what is this? Like I'm, I'm kind, of, I'm gonna like skip through real quick. Wait, you can look up and down. How do you look up and down? How did, how did this man do that? Okay, I gotta press like all the keys on my keyboard now. How do you look up and down? How did he look? What? Hold up. Wait, let me look at the um let me look at the uh controls here real quick. Cause let me see if it's in the README file. Cause I need to I, I wanna beat this. I wanna beat this. Left clicked in Iraq, page up, page down to look up down, okay. There we go. Page up, page down. What the fuck? Chapel. Oh, boy. Alright, well, we did it. We got the key to the chapel. And I'm kind of scared. Actually, I'm very scared. Okay, I mean... Ah, okay, so it's gonna make me go dig up a grave, huh? Okay. The word sermon is written across the top of the page. At the center of the page, a centipede appears to have been chopped into pieces. Its fluids have long since dried into the paper. That's a, that's a very lovely sight right there, let me tell you what. So I got the trowel, so I'm assuming I have to just... I guess I have to go dig up the, the bodies? Like, is that what... Is that what it's making me do? Dig up the grave. You uncover the body of a man with no eyes, whose skin is slick and translucent from head to toe. He appears to have been stabbed in the chest. You dig up the grave. You uncover the body of a woman with legs and, some in and a segmented underbelly of a cockroach. She appears to have been stabbed in the chest. 
Dig up the grave. It proves to contain not a body, but a small, thin glass knife wrapped in a scrap of old cloth. Pocket the knife. Dig up the grave. You uncover the body of a man with the eyes and arms of a fly. His mouth is a flaccid, graying tube of sallow flesh. He appears to have been stabbed in the chest. Okay, what did that do for me? Like, what did that do for me? I literally can't believe, like, we've, we wasted all that time and, like, when I could have looked up and down. Okay, well, now, um... What do we do now? Do, do we have to go here? I could. Is that all we had to do? Like, is there is there more that we have to do? Is there, is there stuff in the chapel I missed, maybe? And, like, papers or anything? Besides that one. What would I need to cut up now? Like, this is like the second knife I've gotten. Maybe the third. I don't know. Nothing's changed in here. Do I have to, do I have to go to the exit now? Like a pair of heavy wooden they 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 refuse to budge though the they don't appear to be locked they seem to be far from the outside survivors are clawing at the wood from outside trying to undo the boards they erected to keep your followers trapped within it seems there is nowhere else for them to retreat. Wait, run that by me again. They s refuse to... Bu Survivors are clawing at the wood from outside, trying to undo the boards they erected to keep your followers... Y your... Me... Wait. So this is me then. I I'm the goddess. What? Unless I'm like some kind of priest or something. Like, I don't know. This is what? What? I mean, it says your followers, like your. Surgical illustrations detailing the hybridization of living creatures through surgical means. What? It's literally like just that part. The your followers. Like that's the part that's tripping me up, you know.
Like, what the? Oh, cat! thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Holy shit. Oh, man. For those of you who don't know me, <laughs> my name is Malphus, Cowboy Fallen Angel VTuber. One of the cow folk VTubers, and I'm with Project Illuminate. It's nice to meet you all. Thank you for trusting me with your community. We're playing um, Monastery right now, which is a kitty horror show game. And honestly, I'm not making too much progress on it. It's a puzzle game, or it's kind of like a puzzle. But I think I just had a big, re I think I just had a big revelation in it, though. I just had a big revelation in it. Oh yes, oh indeed, oh indeed. There is a lot of stuff going down here, but I just don't understand quite what it is. Let's go. It looks so unique. It really is, honestly. I just don't know what's going on with it fully. Like, I've gotten, like, three knives now. There's a statue of Mother of the Hive. Excited for the Devour collab on Saturday? I am. For those of you who don't know, we have a, I have a collab with um, Kat and Liddy on Saturday. We're going to play Devour. It's going to be fun. Let's go. Yes, let's go. But no, so this is literally the thing, all right? So this whole thing is based around, like, there's this, like, goddess or something these people are worshipping. That's, like, an insect goddess. And they're, like, eating, like, insects. They're, like, they're, they're like, literally eating insects. Hello, card. How you doing? They're eating insects. They're, like, metamorphing into insects, I guess. And then there's this, which is this front door. And it says, survivors are clawing at the wood from outside, trying to do the boards they erected to keep... Your followers trapped within. Huh? Yeah, it's really fucking weird. Like, your followers. So I'm just sitting here now like, am I? Am I the fucking goddess? Like, is that what's going on? Thank you for the follow card. I appreciate it. Yeah, your follow. Exactly. Your followers. Like, am I? Am, am I? Um. Hang on, let me go. Yeah, am I playing as... Am I this thing? Like, am I this thing? Right here? Plot twist. I think so. Like, honestly, like, I kind of read that at first, you know? And I'm just like, huh, okay. And then I was like, wait. And then I went back, because I was, like, replaying my head, like, your followers. I'm like, hmm. Okay, I have, like, three knives now. What the fuck am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do with these? Bruh. Doctrination says hair toe successful, stability of brother service questionable, no other outstanding concerns, halfway metamorphoses, all ideal, barring those weak souls we put down. She looks upon us with great favor. Our, ours will be a triumph for her arrival. Okay. Okay, I'm not sh quite sure what to do from here, though. Like, that's the only thing. I don't know what to do about this. What am I supposed to do here? This is the fucking weirdest thing. I just keep wandering these halls. There's like nothing new. But yeah, no, honestly, like, I'm just literally, like, lost. I'm not sure what to do now. Like, I had to dig up... I had to dig up these graves out here. Which, I don't know if it's, like... Does it still say anything? No. I don't know. This is super weird. This, this is a weird game. It's such, like... Because this isn't a collection, right? This isn't a collection of, of, like, games. And the first one was just so funny and cute. And then there's this one. With, like... Cute... With, like... Pupil... What, what are they called? Pupids? Pup... I don't know. Whatever they're called. I don't remember. It's been... I haven't been to first grade in, like, years. So. A pupa? I don't know what... I don't know if that's what it's called or not. Alright, do I have to go back here in the dormitory? Like, do I have to open some of these? No, but only a few of these can be opened, though. 
It's the only thing. Wait, so you mean to tell me I'm a whole goddess, right? I'm playing as this insect goddess. And you're telling me I can't, like, just open the doors and figure this shit out? Like, this doesn't make sense. Am I even playing as a goddess or is that just a red herring? Like, am I just getting, like, am I just getting, like, tricked or something? I don't know. This is weird. But then there's this door right here. This door, this final door. This door is seething. You flatten your hands to the wood and feel a deep shuddering. Some cruel energy enervating the material and the palms of your hands. There is no knob or handle. At the center of the door is a metal panel with three thin slots. With the sound, and that's all you get from it. Like, I don't know what, I don't know what the deal is with it. Okay, there has to be something, like, I'm missing in this chapel. Alright, eyes to the floor. Eyes to the floor. Let's see if we can find something. Um... Insane awesome. Hello. I see I see lobsters howling at the moose. What? <laughs> huh? Yeah, huh is right. There's a lot of huh in this game. I'll be lurking, Malphus. I wish the best of luck. Thank you, cat. I appreciate it. Is there like something on like these fucking in the pews? Is there something in the pews here? I don't under I don't understand. I don't understand. I can't even read that paper or anything. There's like no there's like no keys over here. No nothing. Like I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing now. Like I, I almost feel like maybe that was like the big reveal or something. Hang on. Hold up. I'm gonna reopen that video real quick. I'm gonna see I'm gonna I know I'm cheating a little bit. I know I'm cheating. But I, I, I really wanna figure this out. Because I am, like, very into this game right now. I am very much into this game, and I want to see what it... I want to figure this out. So, I just want to see if... I just want to see, like... So, I got the key. I want to see what happens after I get the key. Alright, so they read all the library stuff. Um, kind of skipping through the video right now, seeing what they're doing. Okay, they're digging up the graves right now. Wait a minute, whoa, 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 freeze, freeze, freeze frame, hold up. How'd they open that door? They went over to the door and they just opened it, like, hold up, freeze. There's another glass knife? Hold up. I'm missing a glass knife? So I'm supposed to find glass knives, and I guess I'm missing one? Because I have two of them. Yeah. So where's the other one, then? So I have one. One is from this room. So this is where I got the first one. The second one... The second one was in... Oh, where was the second one, actually? I don't know. This is really weird. Hmm. So I'm so I'm missing I'm missing one of the glass knives then. So yeah, I mean I guess it's good to know like I'm missing something. Because I've got one from the grave. I've got one from the um Got one from the grave. Got one from the Um The Infirmary. So there's one more glass knife hidden somewhere. Oh, um, well, 
that. Who followed? Um, Cheeks VT, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Okay, so there's literally one more glass knife we need, and it's somewhere around here. It's somewhere. I don't think they'd put another one in the garden, because there's already one in the grave. So it has to be somewhere like the library or something. I don't know. This is the library. Let me take a look. Where I read that book. Whoa! See, I knew it. I knew I wasn't fucking crazy. I knew the. I knew that it looked like these bookshelves were pushed up. I knew it. I was looking at this because I was fucking looking at this, right? And I was like, "This looks pushed up." Like, see, because compared to that one. This one's definitely pushed up. It's, oh my god, okay. That actually scared me too. Like, I was like, oh. Okay. Is that all of them? Do I have all the knives now? That's probably it. I was gonna say, it has to be in there. There has to be something in there. Because they're like the only room I've been to that doesn't have anything except the chapel. You gather up the three glass knives and slide them in and slide them one by one into the slots. Each produces a slow, viscous gout of watery red ichor. The knives dissolve, their handles drop to the floor, and the door begins to slide upward into the ceiling. This door is massive, sturdy, slick with the same red, watery fluid that seems to coat everything in this place. Beyond it, you can hear wind, the rustling of leaves, and a high, constant droning that makes your chest feel hollow. You pull open the door and step through. Oh, what just happened? Oh! Oh no, my VTube Studio crashed! My VTube Studio crashed! What the fuck? Oh, no! Bro, why did- why now, of all times? Like, r Why right here, right now, of all moments, why did you choose to crash now? We were so close. we are this close to greatness. Oh my fucking god, that's great. It's it's the insect. It, it's the insect goddess. She just fucked me over. She doesn't want me to find out the truth. Oh my god, that's fucking what it, it it literally just had to happen right there of all times. Literally right there at that very moment it had to do it. Oh my god. I mean, in all fairness, I do have Google Chrome open. Uh, that doesn't take up much, but I mean, honestly, it might have done something. I don't know. Okay, let me let me re let me redo my model here. Hold up. I'm sorry. I know that took everybody out of it, but like literally, like shit just crashed. Like what the fuck? It chose the worst possible time to do it. But then again, this is an English VTuber stream, and the law is there has to be scuff, right? Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Listen to that sound. My hands are actually fucking shaking. What the hell? Full and bright and incessant. thousand million pale thin wings all of them you I fucking knew it it is it is it I am the goddess isn't it I 
I am, aren't I? You honor us. What? The game just crashed. Huh? Wait, was that it? Bro, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that, bro? That was... That was weird. That was such a weird game. What the hell? Both of those games were weird, but for completely different reasons. The first one... What was the first one called again? I don't remember. Gloom Puke. The first one, Gloom Puke. It sounds nasty, but it was literally just a fun little game. It was funny. I mean, it might have... I don't think it was very dark or anything. It wasn't a horror game, definitely. But then this, Monastery. What the hell was that? Okay, so there is two other games in the collection, but I haven't streamed for two hours, literally. So I don't... So I'll probably save those for, like, next week. Hey, that might be Halloween. I don't know. That might be the Halloween stream. Halloween's next week, right? Um... Technically, yes, but also no. It's... <laughs> Oh, wait, hold up. I'm looking at the wrong fucking calendar. Why have I not changed my calendar? Yeah, it's 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 a couple weeks from now, I guess. Okay. I My, my calendar is still at September, so it kind of fucked me up. Yeah, I got to change that when I get out of here. Let's go to the chatting screen. Okay, so how was that, everybody? That was fun, wasn't it? Just walking around the halls of that monastery. I, I fucking knew, all right? I fucking knew it. The second I heard your followers i was like i'm the goddess aren't i is that gonna be the twist it was the twist i was exactly right i was exactly right that was the fucking twist oh my god i feel so smart i if if they hadn't put that in if they hadn't put that put that like your keep your followers in if they hadn't done that like ooh, like i i probably it probably would have been a much bigger surprise but as soon as i figured that out and like with the door and shit like it just clicked i'm like ooh. Wait a minute. I'm the goddess, aren't I? I'm the thing that's supposed to be... That these guys are supposed to be summoning here, right? And I... Oh my god, I feel so smart. I feel so fucking smart, bro. Oh man, okay. So we're gonna raid somebody. I'm just seeing who's online right now. <clears throat> Do you know who we haven't raided? Shut up. You know who we haven't raided in a while? We haven't raided Mina in a while. But who else is streaming too? Let's see. Yomi, we've raided Mo Yomi before. We raided Matara Khan, like, I think, um, a couple nights ago. Um, a couple bigger VTubers. We've raided my bud Sphera. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to raid Mina tonight. Looks like they're playing a mod, they're playing Total Chaos, a mod for Doom 2. So, um, if you've been watching me play Total Chaos, which I haven't played in a little while, but I've been really thinking about playing it again, actually, because the reason why I stopped playing it initially is because I was getting a little frustrated with it, just because, like, the combat was difficult for me. It's not really a game I'm really familiar with, you know, like a the survival horror like cry of fear style combat like i'm not used to it. it's been years since i played a game like that and it, also the game's just very difficult it's a doom mod you know it doom mods set out to make things difficult understandably so so yeah that's who we're gonna raid tonight we're gonna raid mina um yeah that's gonna be a lot of fun thank you everybody so much for tuning in tonight the fucking whiplash was fucking immense though because it's literally just like we're playing this cute little game where like you talk to these animal characters you know and oh it's so nice and sweet you know oh this one fucking loves knowledge so much you know like practically gets horny over it you know and then the other game is like oh i'm a bug goddess i'm killing the world right now as we speak and i'm going to my followers yeah interesting stuff i love kitty horror show all right so yeah we're gonna probably play more next week or i might save the other two games for halloween i don't know okay so 
Thank you, everybody, so much for tuning in tonight. I really appreciate it. Thank you again, Kat, for the raid as well. Um, and as always, thank you so much for watching.